Hey everybody, Pastor Mike here, and uh, today I'm sitting with Pastor Jay English yes, from sir. Park Lawn Assembly of God, and uh, we're here on location. And uh, Jay, thank you so much for being willing to sit with us today. Hey, thank you for having me. Yeah. Glad to be here and be able to do this. Yeah. So tell me, how did the, uh, the death of George Floyd uh, affect you personally as an African-American man? I feel like something broke kind of inside of me. If I'm being, you know, completely honest, you know, I think there's a level of hope that I had had for society um, to be able to come to a place of resolution that I don't know. I don't know if I have that hope right now, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm trying to, to navigate that. So this is your, this is your constant experience. Yes. And um, you perpetually feel as if your rights are being denied to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, the suburban church has had that same experience in the quarantine of COVID-19. And, um, and you've explained that there's this level of disconnect between the outrage that we feel for a few months mm -hmm. of having our rights impinged upon us, yes. from us, and, um, and what you, you experience on a daily basis. Yes. Yeah. Can you speak about that? <laughs> I can. <laughs> you all, it's funny. I honest, so I'm one of the people, I sit back and I laugh about it. Um, I watch the news and I see the outrage, mm -hmm. understandably so. Mm -hmm. When you feel your freedoms are being infringed on, and I hear the word oppression being thrown around a lot right now. Mm -hmm. We're being oppressed, the government is taking our rights away, uh, this is not America, mm -hmm. this is not American. Yeah. Um, you too. cannot tell us, you cannot do these things, you cannot you know, make a blanket law that I have to be in my home and I cannot open my business and I cannot operate. I hear you. Yeah, you're like, welcome to my world. Yes, yeah. welcome. Mm -hmm. This is what I live in every day. So I see the outrage and then I ask the question, if you're that outraged about this after three months, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. why can you not understand when I tell you I'm outraged? I've been here for 40 years. And so when the suburban you know, folks are saying, hey, our rights are being impinged upon us. You're kind of like, this is my reality. Yes, welcome. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and so my, my question is, is, what does someone like me do? Mm -hmm. You know, what would you say to someone like me? I, I'm not okay with that. Yes. Um, but, but what do I do? I think there's a couple of things. Number one, be open to these type of conversations. It's listening. I feel like that's what's missing a lot of times. It's listening. Mm -hmm. um, I asked the question of how many minorities do you have speaking into your life right now? Mm -hmm. yeah. Because it's not just the actions. It's, it's understanding what's going on. It's being able to learn what inherent biases you may actually have and deal with mm -hmm. and don't even realize it. When we're saying what can you do, it's as you're learning, mm -hmm. the experience you're on right now, mm -hmm. And what we're doing right here, sharing that with others in your sphere of influence. Yeah. Because I can tell the story, but you can express what that story did to you. Mm. The questions mm. it made you ask that I may never think to ask. Yeah. Um, the feelings it brought up that I may never know you deal with. Mm -hmm. And others who are in your circle that maybe have zero people of color speaking into their lives or being a mentor or just being a friend. Right. You can express, here's what I've learned, here's what I experienced, this video that I watched. Here's what it did to me or for me. Let me share that with you so that, you, how does this affect you? Mm -hmm. That's what you can do. Have those conversations in the places and the spaces that I may never get to go. Yeah. and may never get to have because I don't have those relationships. Great, right. So Jay, thank you so much for taking the time to sit with me today and talk about these things. Um, these are difficult things. Um, our country's in a time of turmoil and crisis, but it's stuff like this that I think um, will help us step, take a step in the right direction. Absolutely, thank you for having me. Uh, thank you all for listening. Mm -hmm. And you know, I'm looking forward to being able to have more fun conversations or not, yeah. you know, we can just hang out sometimes, you know, yeah. and I think that plays a large role in, in, in all of this becoming a much better place for everybody to live. Yeah, so can I, can I call you my friends? Can I say I have yes. a friend Jay English? Yes, all right. absolutely. Yeah. Come on, elbow bump. <laughs> <laughs>